Coming up, it's the March Magic, it's hard to say, 2018 Bracket Challenge. Let's be serious though, nobody is going to beat the People Movers. Yeah, they are. Welcome back to Eye to Eye Disney Through Our Eyes. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jessica. And we're going to be doing a little bit of March Magic. Now, Jessica, do you have any idea what we're referring to as March Magic? Yes, I know it's a play on March Madness, the college basketball playoff system. Which, by the way, in 2018, just side note here, I'm sorry for everybody's bracket out there. Mine is just, oh it's just gosh. awful. It's just awful. Okay, but we're going to so, have... But March Magic probably won't be awful. Oh, it will not be awful because there's some pretty awesome names that they came up with this year. Uh, so uh, if you have not, you can go to Disney Parks blog and look at the logos that they've come up with this year and also the um, bracket set up there. So what we're yeah. going to do is, as husband and wife, and this is going to be pretty interesting, is we're going to have to debate kindly. See, see, you're already yelling. Kindly. Calm it down. We're going to have to decide as a couple who moves on in each section until we get to the ultimate winner of this eight-team bracket. So let's start by giving the eight teams that okay. are playing. So we have the Tomorrowland People Movers. Well, it's technically just the Tomorrowland Movers. But still, it's we all know it's the People Movers. It is. The Movers are the incumbent Tomorrowland champions. Movers. Okay. The Fantasyland Mickey Bar Freezers. I feel like that's going to be yours. Uh, yeah. The Liberty Bells. <laughs> Cool the Statler and Waldorf Hecklers. Gosh, this is hard to read. The Voices of Liberty Harmonizers. The Dr. Marsh's Iguanodons. Mm -hmm. The World Showcase Explorers. That's a nice one. And the Bay Lake Monorailers. So if you want to see how the logos look, you can go to Disney's website and check them out here. Obviously, we're not going to put them on our channel, um, but you will be able to see them there if you want to follow along. Okay, so first matchup. Okay, so this is an eight-team matchup, so we'll get to a final four, final two, and a champion. Thank and you, Captain Obvious. Oh, well, you know, something. All right, Here first we go matchup. already. We've got the Bay Lake Monorailers versus the Statler and Waldorf's Hecklers. Okay, well, let's start with this. It's the Muppets versus the Monorail, basically. Yeah. So Obviously, the Monorail is going to win. If we go back to the, which is the cooler logo? The monorailers. The monorailers. Um, as much as I like Definitely. Statler and Waldorf, I don't know if that is a really cool looking logo. And okay. it's the monorail. You know what? I mean, we didn't get a piece of paper to like write down. I will remember way. them. Nothing will go wrong with this oh, video. Wow. Okay, so next. That was really easy. We have the Voices of Liberty Harmonizers or the Liberty Bells. You want to go back to the. Yeah. This is, see, this is cheap. Because they put both the Liberty ones. That is a really, that's not, mm, I'm okay. not like that one. I'm going to have to pick Harmonizers. Why Harmonizers though, not the Liberty Bells? Well, see, I like musical groups and I like acapella musical groups. So do you, I'm actually going to disagree with you on this one. So these both are your like least favorite area. This is yes. the Liberty Square. So yes. if you don't know, the Voice of Liberty are the group that sings in Liberty Square. They're very good from what I've heard. We yes. can go listen to them. I've seen them on YouTube. And then... <laughs> <laughs> the Liberty Bell is uh, the riverboat that you... Not the Liberty Bell. Not the riverboat. It's the bell that's actually in the, the Liberty Square. But the I know why you said the boat because the logo is... It does is, have that on there. Maybe yeah. it is referring to the Liberty Boat. Maybe. I don't know. So what do you think? Because I could be convinced on this. No. Uh, I mean... I don't think either of these are going to go all the way. How that? Let's just be honest. They're not. I think, I think the logos are the best. But if I had to go by logo look, I'm going to go Liberty Bells. Yeah, that's fair. But if I had to go like nostalgia. Except that the Harmonizers looks really intense because it's got the eagle and he's looking got like the stars crazy. and stripes. Yeah. He's looking like, I'm American man. Grr. All right. What do, you, what do you say first? Harmonizers. I'm saying Liberty Bells. Paper, rock, scissors? Paper, rock. No, we can't decide that paper, rock, scissors. Wow, we don't care about either of these teams. Okay, paper, rock, scissors. Okay, so paper, paper rock, rock, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Okay. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Oh, thank God. Harmonizers. Harmonizers it is. All okay. Right. So now we are down on that side of the bracket oh, to no. the monorailers and the harmonizers. Okay. Is this really even a contest? Well, wait, we, are we going all the way on that side? J yeah, we're going to finish this oh. side out till we get to, they're okay. going to no, the championship this is not, game. No, this isn't. This isn't. Obviously, the monorailers are going to the championship. Well, can we make a case for the harmonizers? No, we both said they suck. <laughs> I mean, let's keep this simple, stupid. All right, keep it we moving. agree that the logo is... It's is okay. The no, the logo for the monorails is better. 
Way better. Way better. The Way better. It's streamlined. Okay. It's efficient. It looks like it would run you over. In te- it's great. In terms of like a team, rah, rah. You know, monorailers is like, I don't know what I'm doing. You're like the doing the Ron Swanson. <laughs> you just almost punched me in <laughs> oh the face. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it was like well, right here. Um, Harmonizers but I didn't. doesn't really scream. Like but the logo screams intensity because of but the But the name screams, we're peaceful. You can't be peaceful and play basketball. Uh, not in America. Well, apparently not. Okay, okay, all right. I think this is a done deal. Monorailers is going to make it to the championship. Okay, game for we're us. gonna have some arguments. So can oh, we start this, at the bottom? Oh, Let's start at the gonna, bottom because uh, I don't yeah, want to argue yeah, yet. Yeah, that's that we can't. Okay, argue. the World Showcase Explorers and the Doctor Marsh's oh, Iguanodons. They, man, why did they match up all the ones that I yeah. love together? Okay, so we gotta think <sighs> about this because initially I would have picked the Explorers because they're crafty. They explore things. They're crafty. <laughs> But in reality, the iguanodons can take out anything because they're a dinosaur. And they have the little, you know, thumbs that are spiky. Did you know that? The iguanodons, have, that's what they're known for. Is no, that. I didn't know. Yeah, you taught me something new. You know, they, like in real life or in the fake, like, no, cartoons? like they're, they're skeletons. They have the really sharp thumbs. Like it's not even like a claw. It's just the. That's how they're. Like a thumb. Yeah. So they stab you kind of like that. Jeez. <laughs> so obviously they win. No. No, hold on. So now how's a bunch of people that explore stuff like Christopher but Columbus? Look at these, okay, look at these logos right I agree. Here. I agree. I like the Iguanodons logos. But it looks very juvenile. That, But that World Showcase thing looks classic. I know. It's, and it's got like But now look at the Iguanodon thing. The Iguanodon thing That's looks like... That's not the mountains. That's the World Showcase towers that you're seeing in the background. Oh, those are trees. <laughs> if they were exploring the trees. All right, so one's about a ride, one's about but, a land. But, but wait, wait. You're not letting me finish my thought. The Iguanodons looks like something that would be on a four-year-old soccer t-shirt. Like, okay. the World Showcase Explorers. Yeah. Like, it could be a real t-shirt. Okay. So, my vote's going to be the Explorers. Even though I think the Iguanodons would really win. Yeah. Okay. You've convinced. She's convinced me. Well, this is, like, the last time we're going to agree on this, though, because this one's going to be a fight to the finish. All right. So, out of that region, we have the World Showcase Explorers. And now, okay. the, the incumbent worst. winners... The Tomorrowland Movers versus the Fantasyland Mickey Bar Freezers. All right, let's let's do this. Not let's behave. <laughs> let's look at those logos. What logo there is the best to you? Obviously, the freezers. Is it just because it's, she loves Mickey Bars? By the no, way, no. Because let's look at this. Let's look at it. What's that word? Aesthetically. Aesthetically. Um. First of all, the colors are very pleasing to the eye. The it's second. The same thing, exact colors. No, it's not. The- it's not even close. <laughs> being the same colors secondly the mickey bar evokes feelings of eating because there is ice cream dripping and you're just like picturing yourself licking that ice cream off that's dripping but tomorrow and movers no, no, evokes no, no, we're not on we're not on movers yet we're still on the freezers secondly the um the font that they chose looks like it's actual frozen like it's frozen because they're freezers okay. i like that and you have the castle behind you so obviously it wins no it the Tomorrowland does not Movers win. looks boxy. No. Looks like death. And it's got some scary robot in the front that nobody Here's cares what about. I will give you. If you go back to last year's tournament and look at the Movers logo, that's way better, more simple, and it gets the idea across. Now they've got a robot sitting in it like back like he's getting yeah, blown Yeah, like he's back. like, oh, I'm going to die. If I could have done without that, I would have. But they are still the winners from last year. Why? So the... Just because you won last year doesn't mean that you inherently win this year. They might have had a bunch of seniors that transferred to another team. Like, so what? I love this girl. She's like throwing in like bat. There's not even players on this There team. would be. If this was like March Magic, March Madness, like there would be. And all these robots might have jumped ship and been like, peace, dude. I'm going to sing in the harmonizers. You just like made like a whole backstory to this. Well, I'm just saying, if we're like, if we're doing this, we don't do this. Okay. Here's my thing. Okay. Let's let's be serious. Let's be serious. Your freezers logo is cool, but it is not as cool looking as the movers one. Why? Because just look how sleek it is. The colors match perfectly. No, no. It's like zooming fast, like basketball. People movers is so slow of a ride. It would not win in a not when it first goes out. When it first goes out in the track, it like zips around there. It's and like... then you're like crawling. You're like grandma in the grocery store walking but what are you doing with the freezer you're cold you're gonna move slow anyway no i'm not asking you to move slow you can freeze somebody you take the popsicle to their throat and you hit them right there (laughs) right in the jugular. you heard it right here that was a threat 
No, I'm saying that's what you would do. That's what you would do. It's like OJ. If I did it. If I did. Whoa, we just got real on this one. So I'm just saying, obviously the ice cream wins. No, we're not going to be able to agree on this. This is going to have to be put to the test again. So I'm not putting this up to chance. I'm not. We have to. I'm not going to agree with freezers over movers. We're not even to the finals yet, folks. Knocking things off. Okay. Ready? Paper, rock, scissors, Scissors, shoot. shoot. Ready? No, I gotta think what I'm gonna. It's like way too intense. Okay. What if we just. What if you just let me win? No, I let you win on the one of them already. No, I, I let presented you win. a better case on the harmonizers. I let you win on harmonizers. Yeah, because I presented a better case. And I presented a better case on the movers. You haven't said two freaking words. You would be the worst lawyer on the planet. All right, come on. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Paper, Dang it, wait, I gotta think again. <laughs> They're like, come on, people, just okay, decide okay. already. I win. Movers go on. Yes. All right. Well, so this was stupid. In the finals of this region, you have the Movers versus the World Showcase Explorers. Is there even a, like an opportunity like for the Explorers I don't even to care win? about this game anymore because... <laughs> You're a sore loser is what you I don't are. like none of my teams. All right. The Explorers would win. No, the Explorers would not win. So, so here's why they would win. Because the Tomorrowland Movers, it is on a closed circuit track. Mm-hmm. You can only go in a circle for so long. You can only go on. You one can track. only go on an a, a, a no, world show. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. I win. The people movers go on. You lose. I, was that a little bit mean? Yeah. What? How I'd have to be a gracious winner? Uh, well, that's true. I'm not a gracious winner. No, you never are. You're like the worst winner that I've ever met. <laughs> Moving on, the people movers versus the explorers of the world showcase. I said it backwards, but it doesn't matter. Who wins? Explorers. The explorers win. Why? Well, why do you think the movers should win? I think the movers should win just simply because they're the best and they already won one, so they're going to repeat this year. That's not a reason to win. I will say, though. If the you, history does not necessarily repeat itself. If you compare the logos, I'm more impressed with the explorers won this year than I am the movers. I will exactly. give them that, but why? Give me a re- sell. You need to sell me because I'm just going to Actually, go you need move. to sell me because the last one I lost, so you need to be selling me. <laughs> I'm selling you because they are the best. They Why? Have already done, because they won last year. They've that doesn't mean that it's the same team. They have seniors on this team. They do not. That is not the same team. This is a completely new team. <laughs> last year doesn't mean anything. Would you rather have a ride represented or a People. land? A land that's more, it's bigger. The explorers, they can explore lots of things. They can walk to all the lands. They can go over to the old Ellen Pavilion. They can go get some lunch at Ellen's the land. Ellen's not there anymore. That's why I said the old. You did not listen. <laughs> no, that's not part of the World Showcase, though. That's not included. It doesn't matter. It's still in Disney World. Here, still... Here's so what wait. I'll say. No, I'm not done. You cannot interrupt. They can walk all these places. They can go in the pavilions. They can come out of the pavilions. They can go get food outside the pavilion. They can go swim through that little lake thing. They can watch the fireworks. They can do all kinds of things. What can the people mover do? Nothing. It they can go through Space Mountain. Do, 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 they can go through Stitch's Great Escape, do, do, Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Do, 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 they go. Do, 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 <laughs> they can go just as many places. In a circle, as, they can't do anything. They can't deviate from that track. They're just in a circle, in a circle, in a circle. The explorers question, are like in question. and out of the pavilions, around. Question: What do we call the World Showcase? The March of Death. So it's a March of Death. Why is it a March of Death? Because you make it's a, a circle. Are you stupid? No. A marathon would be a march of death, and it's not in a circle. <laughs> All right, look. No, the explorers Here, obviously win this. I'm trying to help you. Because they're not a robot. I'm trying to help you now. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> uh, people movers, I, the more I look at the logo, the less I like that robot. Exactly, because you want to stab him. I think they should win, but I'm willing to concede this one to Good. the explorers because I do like what they did with this logo for the year. So, Explorers is... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. For the championship game, Explorers versus the Monorailers. Who do you have? This is not even um, a ride. I mean, I guess the Monorail's a ride, but... I uh, Honestly? I mean, okay. We've been doing this the whole time. Who has the cooler logo? Uh, you Come on. That mean... The Explorers. The Monorailers. No! <laughs> Again, I'm going to say, the Explorers could actually be on a t-shirt, and it would look like you're all, like, nature The monorailers, no, that looks like a bumper sticker you put on your car. The monorailers, I think you're just, 
the Bay Lake Monterey's let's let's get that right, the full name. I think that is I think that's the best logo design up here for me this year. Jeez, that's I think good. that it is uh by far the winner. It looks it, it implies speed. Explorers is like it's a cool nostalgic feel, but at the same time I do think that the Monterailers is it's the best logo. It implies like sports, if that's what we're going for. So what are we going for with our winner? Oh, who knows? You know what? Let's just We do... didn't set any criteria. So that's who exactly. do you pick to win? I picked to win the Monterailers. You know, I was gonna pick them, but then you picked them and now I don't wanna agree with you. Let's just let's let's do it a chance. How about that? No. <laughs> Okay. Every time we put it a chance, I lose. They're like, hurry well, actually, up, people. Actually, we're 50-50. Okay. All right, here we go. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. You're representing explorers. explorers. I'm representing monorailers. You ready for this? Okay. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Go. You have to, you have to say, come on, Kyle. Paper, Paper rock, rock, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Bam. Woo, explorers. Oh, I lost. Too bad it wasn't the Mickey ice cream. That, was, that's what, the real winner in my heart. I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Even though I love the monorailers better, I think if you took my favorites out of there, it would obviously be movers, monorailers, and explorers. So I'm comfortable with that. So we finally came to a consensus. What we want to know from you at home is who do you have winning each game? Who do you have being your ultimate winner in the March Magnet? magic bracket from disney this year let us know in the comments section below what else should they do if you haven't already just be sure to like and subscribe to our channel we love to do fun things like this and interact with each of you um you can also check us out on facebook and twitter so until we assemble next time may the force be with you and we'll see you real soon bye <laughs>